Okay, on this example it says a claim is made that the distribution of scores on a test are not normally distributed. You randomly sample 100 students' test scores and the table gives the distribution, um, the table gives the distribution, uh, what the distribution should be if the scores are normally distributed and the actual distribution. Summarize the most significant alpha level. Well, if the distribution of scores are normally distributed, this is how many, uh, this is the percentage of scores that should fall between one and two standard deviations below the mean, between zero and one standard deviation below the mean, zero and one standard deviation above the mean, and one to two standard deviations above the mean. So this is the way the distribution should uh, be if it's normally distributed. Now, Here's the way the distribution actually was, and I don't know if it was actually 100 students here, 50, uh, 75, and actually it should be 90 students were sampled right there. That's a correction I need to make. So now once you have that, we get this data. You can get it from your data sheet and put it into the chi-square goodness of fit sheet. We have this data in here, and right here it tells us our total sample size is 90, not 100. We have four groups, so if you're looking at this up on the chi-square table, your degrees of freedom would be three, and you would get this critical value right here. Here's your expected numbers. All these have to be greater than or equal to five for you to run this test. Okay, if we remember the n times p has to be greater than or equal to five. Well, there's the what we're looking for there. And then uh, what we get is a test statistic of 6.77, which is just barely the, uh, bigger than this critical value of 6.25. This is the critical value you have if you have an alpha level of 0.1. The p-value is 0 0.079, which is less than 0.1, but it's not less than 0 0.05. So at the 0.1 alpha level, we do get significant results, which means at the 0.1 alpha level, I am able to show that the uh, distribution does differ from a normal distribution. Since we got reject the null hypothesis, we reject this, and we can say that this distribution here is significantly different than the normal distribution. Now the reason why that's important is because uh, it, this means that if we had sampled less than 30 people from this population, we could not use a t-score because we can only use a t-score if it's normally distributed, and we just showed that this data is not normally distributed. And then also to show you that uh, we could look this up in a table to get the critical value. Your uh, degrees of freedom would be 3 at an alpha level of 0.1. You should get this critical value of 6.25. And if you go to the end of the book, or you can just see with this little bit of a table here, here is your, see, degrees of freedom 3. Go across until you're under an alpha level of 0.1, and you do get the same uh, critical value that we have listed there. And again, the entire chi-square table, let me go to the end of the book here a second. Your entire chi-square table is here uh, in the back of the book, chi-square table. In addition, so is your um, T table right here, right-tailed probabilities, and also your Z table is on two pages here in the back of the book. Okay, so we'll stop this section right there.